value, or ACV, describes the fair share of a market or trading area. It is used to measure a product's performance. If you are a retailer and you hold 25% market share, then you should be capturing 25% of sales in every category. This would be your benchmark. ACV calculations are used by both retailers and wholesalers to assess product and category performance. Let's imagine for a moment that you have created a new product, Amazing Aglets, the shoelace tips that make every shoe a perfect fit every time. Eliminating foot pain. Your region has two different shoe store chains, Betty's Boot Boutique and Steve's Shoe Shop. Betty's has 20 locations and Steve's has 10. Both Betty's and Steve's have offered to carry your product as long as they can have exclusive rights for one year, meaning they will be the only shoe store in the region carrying your product. Based on locations, Betty's seems like the best bet. She has twice as many locations as Steve, so theoretically, this would lead to a better market share. This is where ACV comes into play. Let's say that Betty's boutiques have average yearly sales of 5 million per store, and Steve's shops have average yearly sales of 20 million per store. 5 million per store times 20 stores means Betty's has 100 million in yearly sales throughout the region. Now, let's look at Steve's 10 locations. 20 million in sales times 10 locations equals 200 million in yearly sales, which is twice as much as Betty's. Total shoe sales for the region would be Steve's sales of 200 million plus Betty's sales of 100 million, or 300 million total. Betty's all commodity value would equal her sales of 100 million over total markets 300 million, or one third ACV. Steve's ACV would be 200 million over 300 million total market, or two thirds ACV. If you sign a contract with Steve, you would only be in one third of the region's locations, but those locations represent two thirds all commodity value, 